To crack cat, you need a lot of practice, and you can practice by taking Krakow's free mock. Just Google search Krakow free cat mock. Follow the link to get the free mock. We have put in a free mock with the latest pattern and with detailed solutions. Hello everyone. I am Keshav Shastri from Kraku family. Welcome to the Kraku series. Today we will be discussing about the selection criteria of the elite institutes of the country that is IIM Ahmedabad, Bangalore and Kolkata. Why do we need to discuss this? Often we see that students get percentile north of 98, 99 and yet they don't receive calls from these institutes. Why is that? Because these institutes consider a wide variety of factors for calling you for the institute. If you just maximize your cat that is not enough. So it is important that we look at what are the realistic chances of getting into these institutes and how can I maximize my chances of getting into these institutes. The first stage is where they call you for Then the second stage is where they decide whether you deserve to be in the college. That is, they conduct their personal interview. The, some, these colleges, all the three colleges, you can see that they don't have the group discussion. The other institutes are also following the suit and they are uh, negating the group discussion from the selection process. They have their personal interview, the written ability test and then they give a total composite score based on which they will select you for the college. So not just IM, ABC, even if you consider Lucknow, Indore and Kozikode, all of them more or less have a similar kind of sectional cutoff. That is where the sec uh, sectionals have 70 to 80 and the overall is 80 to 90. But mind you guys, this does not guarantee that you will get a call. This is like they are just picking a set of students from the CAT applicants and from this they will just select a very small subset whom they will call for the interview. And also usually this is not mentioned anywhere but 10th, 12th and graduation you need to have a minimum of 50% 50, 50 I mean to be eligible to any of the IEMs and then work X these are the factors that they consider in both the rounds. So let us delve into the specific let us first look at IEM Kolkata. IIM Kolkata is famous for two reasons. The first one is its culture and the second one is because of its lack of emphasis on academics. If you compare the three institutes, IIM Ahmedabad and Bangalore usually reward consistent performers. If you have done very well in your 10th, in your 12th, in your grad or you have excelled in your work, you are a consistent performer. Then you have a very better chance than someone who got a very good CAT percentile. But IIM Kolkata is someone who look for spikes. Say you didn't do so well in your grad, still they give you a chance, you excelled in your CAT, then you have a very good chance of, a decent chance of converting the college. But I am Ahmedabad and Bangalore are fairly very difficult if you have not consistently performed in your past. So I am Kolkata. These are the basic requirements. That is, as I already mentioned, you need to par these cutoff. But if you are aiming for I am Kolkata, let me remind you that you will be scoring somewhere north of 99.7 or higher based on your uh, uh, gender or academic background. Usually it is very high, maybe 99.92. In such a case, you need not worry about the sectional cutoffs. Engineers love this college and rightly so because the major chunk of the weight that they give for the interview call, the 56% is for the CAT score. And then you, you need not worry that bachelors is so much because most of us we wouldn't have done well in our bachelors including me I didn't perform very well in my undergrad but the good part is if you just score more than 60 percent you'll get the entirety of 15 marks so you need not worry about that either and even 10th and 12th they are not very aggressively scored like IMA or IMB if you have done fairly well if you have got more than 80 percent in both then you get entire 10 and 15 marks and they do have a gender diversity factor so this is fairly good for the engineers in the first part at least for the first part of the selection process. As you can see this is the 10th and 12th mark distribution of IIM Kolkata. I will just skip through this and this is the graduation weightage. If you just score more than 60% you get entire 15 points. In the final selection process the major part of that forms your composite score is your personal interview that is almost 50% of it is your personal interview you have your written ability test you have your cat this almost entirely makes 80% 
so this 80 percent is entirely in your hand this is something you can control and here this step goes against the engineers because in the first step is more favorable to engineers there are a lot of engineers and for diversity sake they give four points to non-engineers and the work experience the scale using this graph you can see initially it increases it tops when you are about 2.5 to 3 years work experience and then it starts gradually decreasing again so the ideal place to be is if you have about 2.5 to 3 years of work experience so that's about i am calcutta now let's move on to i am bangalore i am bangalore guys it is known for rewarding consistent performers so realistically getting a call from even if you get a call getting selected at i am bangalore is much difficult for someone say who is a fresher or someone who has not excelled in his academics it is much difficult because they give a lot of emphasis on work experience and acads but if you consider i am ahmedabad they have more emphasis at least in the second round for personal interview that is not the case with i, I am bangalore so the again the basic criteria this shouldn't matter if you are aiming for i am bangalore you should have a very high percentile I am Bangalore has a high emphasis on academics as you can see they give 50% weightage when they call you for the interview that is if you have not done well in your academics the likelihood of getting an interview call is very difficult even if you score very well it only constitutes your CAT score constitutes only 40% more emphasis is given on your academics what you have done in the past and work experience constitutes about 8, eight points and they have a formula for calculating the work experience that is as based on the number of months it maxes out at 36 months and then it stays as 8 but in the case of IIM Kolkata as you saw if it is more than two and a half years the points was getting reduced but that is not the case if you have three or more years of experience you get a point eight points they also have a gender diversity that is of two points they also call top 10 candidates from each of say if you are in the top 10 uh, CAT scorers or if you are, had excelled in academics in your engineering degree or in individual degree top 10 of in individual degree or if you had a CA or uh, a secretaryship uh, certification if you are in top 10 of that then you directly get an interview call but again you will again have to go through the same process of personal interview and written ability test in the second round and unlike IIM Kolkata, as you saw IIM Kolkata, if you get more than 80%, you get the entire 10 points. That is not the case with IIM Bangalore. What they have done is they have put in a lot of effort. They have consolidated the marks of the last two years for all boards and across all degrees. Say I am from the arts degree and I got uh, 85% in uh, Karnataka board. And say there's a, I have a friend who is from the CBSE board and he also got 85%. So are we both in the same level? There is all likelihood that maybe the CBSE board is tougher or the Karnataka board is tougher. So to, they have consolidated the past two years and they scale it accordingly. This is the formula that they use. You can, it's, it's fairly complex, you need not worry. You can just imagine it as something uh, to relatively scale across all boards and all degrees and then they finally give you a score for your 10th or your grad or your 12th so they don't have a fixed marks for each degree or your 10th or 12th it is relative to your peers it is based on the past two years of record i am bangalore is a tough net to crack guys that is because not just in the first round even in the second round they have about 25 percent of weightage on your academics if you had seen if you remember i am calcutta in i am calcutta they had there are no weightage for academics in the second round but in i am bangalore you have 25 percent weightage for academics 25 percent for your cat score personal interview is just 30 percent while it was 48 percent in i am calcutta and you have a written ability test the work experience is again they give five point multiplier that is you have five point point two five point five 1, 1.5 and 2. Say uh, it, you have 12 months of work experience then 8 into 12 by 36. So you will get about 8 by 3 points and then that 8 by 3 the interviewer decide the quality of work. This is another factor that comes in based on your quality of work. Usually to give you an example if you are working in IT usually IT people they, they get 0.5 because it is fairly calm. If you have done something very good in IT you will get 1. So based on your quality of work the multiplier gets multiplied say 8 by 3 into 1 and if you are extraordinary then 1.5 2 is very rare it is very rare shot so that's about i am bangalore realistically it is very difficult because even in the second round they have high emphasis on the grad scores 
your 10th and 12th scores and I personally know a friend even with bad academics he is in IIM Bangalore first year right now. So that's about IIM Bangalore guys we will move on to IIM Ahmedabad something uh, everyone the dream destination for all MBA aspirants in the country. IIM Ahmedabad the college we all love but it has a very complex selection process let's look at it. The first uh, this is the uh, basic sectional and the uh, overall cutoff that you require but if you are trying I am the Ahmedabad the same thing applies you will be aiming somewhere 99.97 plus if you look at I am Ahmedabad guys I am Bangalore initially they had 50 percent weightage on academics and 40 on CAT so if you have not done in academics it's difficult but that is not the case with I am Ahmedabad if you do extraordinarily well you still have a great chance of getting a call from I am Ahmedabad this looks fairly simple but they have a very complex uh, hiring process they consider something called as application rating that is they add all these four scores and they that is for total of 35 points and then let's see the first one the 10th marks how it is rated the 12th marks coming to graduation they have split up the graduation scores into various academic categories that is AC1 stands for MBBS or if you have done MD or if you have done company secretaryship or CA uh, then you fall in AC2 or uh, if you have done any course relating to management say BBM uh, or any commerce or finance or economics related course then you fall in AC3 if you are an engineer then you fall in AC4 if you if you fall if you are uh, say humanities or arts you fall in AC5 and accordingly they give the grad scores and then based on all these four A, B, C, D combined they add all those four to get a application rating score that is for 35 and then again they don't directly take the 35 uh, they somehow uh, they relatively scale it you can just take that you, they have a weightage of 10 percent 10 percent and 5 percent weightage for work experience and that 5 percent it maxes out when you are more than when you have more than 3 or 3 plus years of experience. So coming to stage 1 calls this is where it gets a little complex guys bear with me if you had seen I am Bangalore and I am Kolkata they call more or less students based on their composite score I am Bangalore only called the top 10 candidates who have excelled in CAT or in academics but it's usually more or less based on composite score in I am Ahmedabad they have within the stage 1 for calling you for interview they have two process that is first they call in candidates who have excelled in individual academic category let me elaborate that is they already categorized all the students into various academic categories like an engineer student or an art student or an MBBS student and within these categories they further subdivide them into general engineer or SC engineer and then they call the top 5% of general engineers the top 5% of PWD art student across all academic categories across all the different categories they call top 5% students and then they are subjected to three criteria C1, C2, C3. If they don't satisfy those criteria then they are kicked out and put in the general pool again. That is they will call the top 5% across all categories provided that they satisfy these three criteria they are directly called for the interview. And then the rest of the general pool candidates they are called based on their composite score that is 65% weightage for your CAT score and 35% weightage for on your application rating score and these guys they have to satisfy C1 and C2 C1 and C2 criteria we will shortly look at what are the three criteria if you are getting called directly through process 1 you need to satisfy all three while if you are getting called through the composite score you need to satisfy C1 and C2 what are these three criteria first one we already saw that it is the overall cutoff or the sectional cutoff of CAT which you have to meet. Second one is your average of 10th and 12th marks. See your 12th you did in science or you did in commerce or in arts. Based on that the average of 10th, 12th should be this or should be this based on wherever you fall. If you don't have that then you are not eligible to apply for IMEA. Since this applies for both process within the stage one since for both processes C2 is there if you don't have an average of more than whatever is specified here then you are not eligible to apply for IMA. So even if you are a topper in CAT and if you don't have a, a, this eligibility then you are not considered for the interview process. The third one is that you should be more than 80th percentile 
within your academic category in various uh, sections that is in general obc within that in your academic category you need to be more than the 80th percentile this only applies for the process 1 for the process 2 you need to meet the cat sectional cutoff and your average of 10th and 12th should be more than this so that's about a tedious process maybe we'll have to look at it again we have uh, online we will link, link all the selection process documents in the description you can have a look at them detailed even if you have any doubts it is very clearly mentioned you will uh, you can get rid of all your hassles so the final selection criteria will be this in final selection criteria this is the plus of IMA you have 50 points for personal interview this is more than IM Bangalore this is more than IM Kolkata which had, which had 48 points and CAD score is 25 points your analytical uh, writing test is 10 I mean so the total is 85 so in case you get a call it is totally up to you unlike IM Bangalore which has a lot of emphasis on work experience and your academics even in the final selection round here 85 percent is totally under your control only 15 percent of the score is your application rating so you can very well crack it if you have a very good profile and mind you that cracking personal interview of IM Ahmedabad is no joke it is one of the toughest in the country you will have to have a very strong profile you need to know where you are headed what you are doing what you want to do you need to have excellent clarity so you need to build that clarity guys we will also be uploading a lot of videos on how to boost your profile how to crack your interview stay updated that's about it for today you need not worry that uh, if, we, if you can target this if it is even a chance these are very much realistic as I told I have a friend who had very bad academics who is in IM Bangalore nothing is impossible there is still three months we can very well crack cat there is a very realistic chance that you can end up at least in IM Kolkata. You need not get demotivated. Start your preparation now. We will see you soon guys. Make your uh, time count. Thank you.